Hello everyone. My name is Brittany Shine. My name is Marcus Shine. <laughs> it's my husband. Uh, this week, God has been revealing to me that I have had some unforgiveness in my heart. And this is something that is overlooked. This is something that we don't normally ask the Lord for. Uh, we don't normally ask the Lord to reveal what's in our heart. Like if there's any unforgiveness in our heart. Because we think, oh, I've, I've forgiven everybody. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm getting along with everybody. You know, but God will reveal to you of who you need to forgive even if it has been years ago and uh, he will warn you he will warn you before you leave this earth and he will either warn you through a sickness in your body uh, which I have experienced and still experiencing I'm actually transitioning I'm actually going through a healing process because the Lord has revealed to me of who I needed to forgive and it was multiple people I didn't even realize that wow like I needed to forgive this person and I asked the Lord to help me to forgive this person or forgive these people um and he did. He helped me. I spoke in tongues. The, the Holy Spirit was, was, was speaking through me. And I was able to release all of that burden that was from me. And I kept experiencing pain under my arms. Um, kept experiencing just different kinds of illness in my body. And um, I'm, I was asking the Lord, like, Lord, what is, is it because I've sinned? Like, what is going on? Why am I experiencing this in my body? And that's when the Holy Spirit asked my husband to ask me, have I forgiven the doctors? Have I forgiven the doctors um, that I used to go to. I used to go to the doctor and I, for a long time I have not trusted doctors because I used to take a steroid shot and the steroid shot has messed up my body and for a long time I did not want to go to the doctors. I didn't want to fool with doctors. I've even had um, an evil dream about a doctor so that made me definitely not want to go to any doctors but the Lord asked me to forgive the doctors and that was the first the, the first type of people that I had to forgive so there were individual people and there was also like uh you know certain groups of people or, or a certain type of people and I don't even know who the doctor is like I, I wouldn't I wouldn't even know what he looked like to this day but I just remember what happened but I I gave it to the Lord and I forgave the doctors and I cried <laughs> Oh, and our son, Benny, is back here, too. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so I just wanted to encourage you all, if you are dealing with unforgiveness, or even if you don't know if you're dealing with unforgiveness, give it to the Lord. Ask the Lord to search your heart. Because the Bible says, if we do not forgive men their trespasses, God will not forgive us our trespasses. But if we do forgive men their trespasses, God will forgive us. He will forgive our trespasses. And I'd like to say uh, just, just in my two cents, I would say that uh, a lot of times we believe that 
we have forgiven, like there is no unforgiveness in our hearts. But the Bible declares that our hearts are desperately wicked and who can know it? But God, God knows our hearts. And it's very important that you ask him to examine your heart, to search your heart. Lord, what is, is there something in my heart that shouldn't be? Um, because believe it or not, it is. There's always something that shouldn't be. The heart is desperately wicked. It can deceive you. You can truly believe that your heart is good, that you have a good heart, the people around you have good hearts. You know, that sounds very good, but no one knows the heart. So it's important that you go to God and ask him daily, daily, Lord, examine my heart. Any unclean thing there, please remove it. And it's, it's and to be honest with you, it's usually the people that are okay with living the way that they're living. There's some level of comfort there. And when you, people know that when you bring it to God, he's going to help you get rid of it. And sad to say, don't really want to get rid of it because it is comfortable because you have been living this way for a long time because you was raised this way because this is the way your mom did it this is the way your dad did it this is the way your grandparents did it and now it's become a tradition sin can become a tradition you know for generations and generations but I just challenge you just like I challenge myself and I challenge my family daily examine your ask God to examine your heart because I don't know my heart like God knows my heart so I mean that's what I would say if you if you are dealing with a certain type of illness it's not always uh, the fact that you have sin but a majority of the time there is a sin that you are unaware of or that you are aware of and if you're tired of dealing with the issues um, that comes with that, you know, ask God, take it before God. And people say, you know, I gave it to God. Um, I want you to really question yourself and ask yourself, what does that mean? What does it mean I gave it to God? Submit it to God. Give it to him. The Bible says, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. The first step is submitting. Submit your will. Submit your way of doing things. And ask God to take it. Show me. Renew me. Prepare me. Create in me a clean heart and a steadfast spirit. It can be done, but it's, it starts with your desire to want it to be done. If you don't want to stop living the way that you're living, then don't take it to God. But if you do want to change... If you desire true forgiveness, if you desire to repent and to turn from, from the way that you've been living, go before the Lord. Amen. And submitting to God, resisting the devil, I that's exactly what I had to do. I submitted it unto the Lord, and then Satan was trying to repeat it in my head. He was trying to repeat the matter over and over in my head and I rebuked it. I said, I come against this thought in the name of Jesus. I cast down this thought in the name of Jesus. I forgive this person. You will not hold me in bondage in the name of Jesus. And that's what you have to do. When the devil tries to repeat that over and over in your head, you've already forgiven that person. Cast it down. Cast it down in the name of Jesus. So thank you all for listening uh, and we will talk to you all again soon. Love you all. Peace.